whatever market I'm in, my goal is to learn my market inside and out. So that way I know homes are going for 200 bucks a foot over there. I know they sell for 250 a foot over there. I know that if I get in that super amazing neighborhood, they're gonna go for 350 a foot. Whereas on this part of town, maybe they sell for 150 bucks a foot. Over time, as you look at enough properties, you'll start to memorize your market. And then what happens is when a, when a lead comes out, like in the markets, I know like the back of my hand, a lead comes out and I'm like, where's that at? I look at the crossroads and I'm like, that's a deal. Because I know right away just by looking at it and the asking price and the price per square foot, that that's a deal because I know the numbers in that neighborhood. It's an investment in your time to learn your market. And the way that you invest in your market is to just start to learn where all the pockets in your market, what the values are. That investment is worth its weight in gold because again, once you get it down, then you can know values in, in seconds in, in the markets. Like you'll instantly know. And then it just takes five minutes to refresh to see what the latest numbers are, like the latest comps, to then see what the adjustments are. Um, something that I've ran into today a couple different times where I've seen you on your videos, you love to use the comps as kind of proof as to like setting up as to why your price is the way it is. Yeah. With those kind of those cold leads, I have found that it's it's a little more difficult to kind of set the scene for that. What is something that you recommend doing for those scenarios where those agents give you like zero wiggle room at all? Yeah, and sometimes great question. Just... If you do a quick analysis and you make the offer, then you have no perspective on what the comps are because you're doing a quick analysis. So you're not looking at comps. So how do you have a, a high level conversation with an agent, for example, if you haven't done your homework first? So first and foremost, when I call the agent, I want to have on my screen the comps. So just part of that conversation is I'll map my area. I'll put in some filters, some basic filters. So I'm looking at similar homes and then I'm ready. So I might not have been looking at it, but while I'm on the phone, I'll actually start to talk about comps on the fly. Now, okay. this is hard if it's like brand new to you and you're not really sure. It takes you a minute to kind of see what's going on. I've just done it so much that I can now, while I'm on the phone, I can have my map up and I can be saying, well, wait a second, I'm looking at this comp two streets over right now. And it looks like this and that I start to analyze while I'm on the phone because they're, they're open. They're having the conversation. They're willing to talk about it. So now, well, let's talk about it. If you're willing to talk about it versus blow me off or shoot me down or not open, not friendly. A lot of times I will take the five minutes or 10 minutes and just get my head around it before doing the call. Something I was kind of doing a little bit okay. is going ahead and just kind of, I mean, even if it's just three comps, I know you recommend yeah. getting five or more. I was just kind of going on and grabbing three and maybe not even like attaching them to the deal analyzer yet or anything like that. Just having them kind of ready. I mean, not even kind of even looking at the Zillow listing, just the price, the bedroom, bathroom, and then the location. Yeah, yes. that's smart. I mean, as long as you're doing it in five minutes, what you don't want to do is spend 45 minutes, an hour. You got it all down, made notes, get on the phone and they shoot you down and you just wasted your time. That's the downside of overanalyzing. Spend too much time and it goes nowhere. So there's a balance. I mean, it's not it's not a perfect system of exactly one way or the other. You just want to be conscious of it. As long as you're constantly aware of the time commitment you're making in your analysis process, I think you'll be okay. Um, my question is, you talk to the agent and you give their offer and you use the double dip strategy. Yep. And then they pretty much say that they're not even willing to give a verbal offer. How do you handle that? I mean, there's only so much you can do, but always push for the verbal. Here's a couple ideas around how to handle that. I almost can always get the agent to make a verbal or at least tell me they're going to make a verbal. I don't know if they actually do, but one method that works really well is I'll say to the agent, I'll say, look, it's in your best interest to verbally make my lowball offer. And here's why. Let's say that the seller's at 150 and you're offering 75. Well, think about what's going on. The agent probably oversold the seller on what it's going to sell for, and now it's not selling. So they look stupid going to the seller and saying, hey, remember how I told you we could get 150 and no one's making any offers? You know, now I have a cash offer for 75. The seller's going to be going, well, what the heck, dude? You told me you'd get 150. So now they have egg on their face and they look dumb. Agents oftentimes are more worried about looking dumb than doing what's right to the seller. And that's okay. just human nature, right? They don't want to look dumb. 
how do we work around that? So here's what I'll tell the agent. I'll say, look, the seller is going to be more willing to do a price reduction if we make my low offer, because the seller is going to be going, well, shoot, we're at 150. No one's making any offers. I got this low ball cash offer for 75. There's no way I'm taking 75, but Let's go ahead and do a price reduction to 140 or 135. And so I'll explain to the agent, this is gonna help you get a price reduction, which is gonna help you sell the house faster. I'm actually helping you get this property sold by making this low ball offer. And a lot of times the agents will have a light bulb moment and they'll go, oh yeah, definitely can see that. I'll go ahead and call and make that low ball offer. That helps, Jerry, thank you.